<laughs> Welcome to another episode of One Way Costa Rica Guanacaste Guanacaste province is much hotter and drier than other places in Costa Rica. So wherever there are unpaved roads, there is a lot of dust in the air. Keep in mind if you have a sinuses problem like me, to bring your nose <laughs> spray. Yeah, and... or don't stay here in the dry season. Yeah, because lots of dust is flying out and you have lots of winds in the night and uh... Yeah, you can't breathe here, that's why we're leaving. But uh, if you have a cute budget, stay in Tamarindo. There everything is paved, you don't have these problems. Guanacaste is located in the northwest of Costa Rica. Borders with Nicaragua on the north and with Alajuela province of Costa Rica in the east. Its population is around 413,000 people. It also contains one of the world's blue zones, Nicoya. A blue zone actually means that the people there have more life uh, expectancy. They live like to 120. Yeah, people there live a healthier and more natural life, so they just live longer. The land is more flat here, less mountains, but the roads are uh, a bit rocky, so 4x4 not necessary, but you should consider uh, dirt wheels, especially in the wet season. The most touristic and expensive place around here is Tamarindo. It's the beach city that has all the high-class hotels, fancy restaurants, boutique shops and brands and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, lots of areas that you can rent uh, any kind of water sports, jet ski, surfing and... Yeah. Yeah, 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 whatever you like to do. The area is full of ranches, cattle, cows, horses, everyone is walking freely on the roads. Yeah, and most of the local community are farmers, so they have this cowboyish look. A huge deal of the expats here are Americans, especially closer to Tamarindo. Yeah, and uh, if you're looking for a nice beach to go to swim and not to surf without big waves, you should go to Playa. Prieta. Hoo <laughs> hoo Yeah, lots of surfing beaches, but this one is for swimming. There are lots of yoga retreats here and different kinds of wellness stuff. Yeah, and if you're looking for healthy food, vegan stuff, there are a lot of natural stores around here, which is also kind of nice, expensive, but nice. Yeah. Okay. Our daily budget here went a little bit up because it's one of the most expensive area in Costa Rica. And in Latin America. <laughs> yeah, it was around like uh, 400, 500 a day. Yeah, for both of us here. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty expensive area. The animals around here are different. There are howling monkeys, scorpions, venomous snakes. Yeah, it's really dry, so more viper snakes and scorpions, so check your shoes before putting them on. Yeah, yeah. and uh, <laughs> we went to the Diamond Echo Park, Adventure Park, right? Yeah. When they have uh, like an animal sanctuary and uh, they have some activities of ATVs, zip lines, and really worth it to go. Yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> place. We didn't take the attractions, we went to the sanctuary, it was so beautiful. Yeah, they lots take... of animals, you like can come close to the parrots and close to the any animal, like, and you can see them. Butterflies sit on your head. On your ass. Mm, and <laughs> the ocelots and the big cats are just beautiful and they take really good care of them. None of them can go back to nature, so at least they have a good place there. And the view from the restaurant. Yeah, you got a crazy view from the restaurant and you got two hotels near the location that you can stay. They have like a private beach and it's a really epic place to stay if you come to this area. Check it out. And if you haven't subscribed yet... And like and subscribe our channel One Way Costa Rica because YouTube, we need you. Hoo hoo hoo. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha.